getting ready for work. I think it's currently past 11. I need to leave early today. Where's my lotion? I need to leave early today because I need to drop off my hair by the lady who's going to do it. So I want to start with my Lobola preps. My Lobola is on the 23rd, so I think this video will come out after. Because today is Thursday and I have a video I'm going to post tomorrow for this week. Today is the 14th. My Lobola is on the 23rd. So it's in like less than 10 days. So I need to start my preparations. So I need to take my hair. What is the hair? This hair, the hair that I was wearing for the engagement, the long hair. Because the lady said to me I was supposed to bring it for customization, like to bleach the knots and to pluck the hairline. So it wasn't sitting like the way it should be on that day when we did it. But we still did it nonetheless because there was no other thing we could have done. She finessed it as much as she could. So now I'm taking it because I was like, okay, that's good that I wore this hair. As much as I didn't want to wear it, I wanted to wear this one for my Lobola. But I was like, it's good that I wore this hair because now I know and it can be even... It was nice. I won't lie. I liked how it looked. But you could tell that something was missing, especially in the front, like the lace and the front part. Yeah, so at least I wore it. Now I know it can look even better for my Lobola. And I had bought it initially, Vela. Something is on my nose. It's probably a piece of hair. I had initially bought it for the Lobola. So I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to take it to her. <clears throat> the reason I'm gonna wear these earrings so the reason I'm going to drop off my hair like today my appointment is only on the 22nd which is next week Friday is because this is my last day in the office I'll go back to working from the office again on the 25th so she had said that you can bring the hair the day before to be customized and then uh, the day before your appointment but i don't want to do that because i feel like it's just a waste of my petrol for me to go all the way to betlu sentin just to drop off hair mm -mm. it doesn't make financial sense it's just gonna be a waste of petrol so i was like to her i'm not gonna be coming to the area anytime soon until the day of my appointment because for the appointment it makes sense you know because I have to get glammed up for my lobola. So I'm going to do my hair the day before my lobola. So then I said, so I'm going to bring it today. Then you can stay with it. And then I'll come do my hair on Friday next week. And she was like, that's perfectly fine. She said, that's perfectly fine. That's all I'm doing today. I'm not doing much. Yeah. It's so hot in South Ur. Uh, I need to find shoes. What am I gonna wear? These. Yeah. Let's see. This room is a mess. Don't judge. I think this is perfectly fine. Got my laptop bag. I already did my lunch. Well, my supper. And then, because I'm looking off at eight. Yeah. I'm going to go, guys. I think I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. There's nothing else I'm going to be doing today. Hey, guys. Looking all sensible. 
I am going to a YouTube short event. My boo is getting ready. I'm dressed up. I'll show you my outfits in a bit. I'm all dressed up and I'm ready to get going. Uh, the, the, the event is for YouTube. It's a YouTube shorts event. There was a program they were running for smaller content creators or YouTubers rather uh, to teach how to master short form content like your reels your they call it shorts on on youtube so we were attending classes we got like weekly assignments like challenges in a, in a form of creating content where to create content be creative use different editing styles trends trending songs ai things like that and we were just learning 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 and then we had to give feedback we had to also we had to also like participate like uh share our dilemmas our struggles with content creation and solutions they would invite successful content creators people who are in marketing people who are in business like every week it was just different people like teaching and we were learning and uh if you followed everything right and you did all your tasks and you did them well and everything was and you were successful you get to graduate so today they're having that graduation ceremony uh so yeah that's what i'm going to today and then when you do graduate it doesn't end there you get like um a youtube partner manager like someone who every month uh they we we have a meeting they check in and all that stuff so i'm proud to say that it's been going well even my new subscribers when i check my analytics most of my new subscribers actually come from me doing shorts i don't know if you've noticed but i've been posting a lot of shorts lately which i will still be continuing um yeah so most of my new subscribers are from me doing shorts so welcome to those subscribers i hope you stay and i hope you enjoy i did do a reel for this outfit guys do follow me actually on instagram my page there i'm gunning for 10,000 uh followers on instagram i also have a tiktok i will leave them here on tiktok i'm also gunning for 10,000 i'm by 5,000 something then on instagram i'm like 9,000 something yeah so please do follow me on instagram but please do engage because that's where most brand collabs are they are on instagram and we are trying to get the brands to see us so when you do go over to instagram do engage do like do save do comment and do share yeah yeah i just wanted to come say hi and tell you where we are going let me try showing you my outfit i'll try my best to put you somewhere show you my outfit maybe this way so this is my outfit this top is from misguided from superbalist it actually does not fit don't tell anybody it's not zipped at the back but i covered it with this dress let me actually uh and then this dress is from h&m i bought it not so long ago i'm sure you guys saw and then the shoes are from mr price just a little kitten heel yeah and then i'm just accessorizing with the gold necklace i don't know where it's from and these i also don't know where these are from and then my galax boy bag and yeah my outfit i'm just waiting on my boots to finish so we can go i'm charging my phone and i'm charging this camera it's on the charger as we speak yeah how do you guys think do i look good i think i put on i put in a lot of effort <laughs> Anyways, I need to charge because it is a YouTube event, so it means that there's going to be a lot of creating content. Like, it's a space where you should be creating content. So, I just want to make sure that I can probably make a reel from my from my Instagram, maybe make a TikTok, and also be able to give my youtube family some content all around all the platforms 
I'm really really enjoying this bulb you guys do you like my makeup I've been practicing trying to find what works for me what works for my face learning about products and all that stuff so I really have been practicing uh, I hope it shows because I've been taking my time to learn how to do my face nicely do you like it let's get a thumbnail <laughs> anyways we'll talk later bye
event was so nice and we got our certificates i met so many nice people so many nice creators it was amazing youtube out did themselves and i think my boo had fun as well we'll ask him he's coming here he is baby did you have fun i did you but you were creator for the day yeah no i was honest because everyone kept coming to me what kind of content do you do i'm like ah, i follow my wife around <laughs> Not a creator. So. Yeah, but shout out to all the other creators. I yeah, we met, met very um, nice people. Who's the first lady we met? I want to shout out. I think it was Pini. No, it wasn't Pini. It was Letitia. Letitia, yeah. Shout yes, out it Letitia. Was Letitia. Yeah, nah, nah. She's a cool, she's a cool, cool creator. Yeah. And Hi, shout Letitia. out to Chef um, Albert. Albert. 10K <laughs> Chef Albert. Yeah, no. Yeah, it was and, very and nice. A lot, a whole lot more, you know. It was very nice. It was very nice. Uh, please subscribe. Guys, sorry, the battery died. I'm charging while my boo was still talking. Yeah, so like I was saying, please subscribe, guys. Your comments, your shares, your subscriptions. We appreciate them. We appreciate and they take people places. Like yes. you never know what it means to just Imagine watch. we were at YouTube you today. So, yeah, my baby's a YouTube graduate now. <laughs> She's a YouTube program graduate. Congrats, baby. Thank you, my love. Thanks so yeah, um, thank you guys as well for the subscriptions because it, it required subscriptions to go there. So mm. thank you guys so much and we look forward to... I hope I took enough content. It was very loud there, so it was very yeah, hard to did. vlog. I took more content than you. You did? Yeah, but it was very hard to vlog because it was very loud. Yeah, because... Yeah, 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 and you know YouTube... Yeah, hey, YouTubers party, guys. Yes. I can tell you as a spectator, I was there like, ha, not more famous. <laughs> And but also yeah. YouTube copyrights, and they were playing music, so yeah. now I can't vlog because there's music. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, guys, good night. Yeah, from our side, the party continues, but. Guys, today is. Um, what's the date today? The 19th of March, so Tuesday. I think I last saw you on Friday. I've been really procrastinating. I think I need to get my behind up and start preparing for this weekend for the Lobola because it's on Saturday. And honestly speaking, I haven't done anything. Um, and time is going. So first things first is that I have work in between. I was working last night. It's 2 p.m. now. I woke up at around 11 because I went to bed at 6 yeah? today i'm not working tomorrow i work at one so and then on thursday i'm working a 12-hour shift because it's a public holiday so it means overtime right i would have liked to take the week off my boo took the week off he went home but i need the money i need the overtime money so i didn't want to take the week off friday i'm off shop i was saying i need to make sure that i slot in everything in between my work schedule and i also have my content creation schedule that i need to think about as well so yeah there's just a lot going on first things first we are going to remove these cornrows today i need to go to clicks get um some makeup stuff that i'm missing i need a clicks and discam i need a concealer i need a contour and Mm, what else do I need? Oh, I need sandals to wear with my mwenda. I need to get that. And I need to get deep conditioner for my hair. So that I can take this off later today. And yeah. So that I can go do new cornrows tomorrow morning. So yeah. Hey guys, I'm back from the shops looking crazy as ever. Let me show you what I bought. We went to clicks. We went to this cam. So I think I'll start with what I bought at Clicks. Uh, I got this body mist. That's what I use as a perfume. I got this smudge. I got this smudge SPF 15 stick. I'm gonna use this as my contour stick. 
I got a compact powder, but as you can see, I broke it. I got this, um, the perfect hair treatment, like it's a deep conditioning treatment. I'm going to use it today. So I got this camouflage concealer in the shade light beige. That's how it looks. Okay, I went to Shoe City and I got these. I'm going to wear these with my Momoenda on Saturday. These were $239.95, so $240. I like these. These are the ones my boo chose from all the ones that I showed him as options. And he said he likes these ones. And then I went, I went to, what's the store? Gem Clothing. And I bought this shapewear. It comes all the way to your cover. I bought this because, like a Moenda, if you know it, it's like just a wrap around thing. So you can feel quite naked. And I don't want to feel naked. So, yeah. I bought this to wear underneath. Yeah, I went to another shop. I don't know the name of the shop. It's one of those shops that just sell random stuff. I got these. Because I need to take this out. <laughs> my mustache. I need my mustache gone. So these are for demo planning. Uh, I got a detangling brush. For my hair when I wash it now. I got a... What do you call this? A lip liner. Lip pencil. A thick one. Uh, Guys, I've been swatching at the store. That's why my hand looks like this. Got the slip liner. And I got a red tail comb. Because I need it for my hair. Because I'm going to install my hair on Friday. Uh, I think Saturday morning I might have to fix up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, lastly is this cam. Let's see what we've got. We've got some makeup stuff. I got this. In the shade medium beige. This is the one I'm going to start with. And then the other one is for brightening. Then that powder. Yeah. And then I got this brow gel from Catrice. I did it here earlier on at the shop. And I liked it. Brow gel from Catrice. And they gave me this plumping lip serum, lip primer. Because when you bought two things... just the clear nothing to rave home about let's try it i did try the lifted gloss one in the store it's a new one and it tingles this one tingles as well it has chili that's why my lips look a little bit pouty you guys i think that's it for today i don't want to make all these clips long because i still have three days of this vlog um i think i'll see you guys tomorrow or maybe i'll be roll while i'm doing my hair i'm not sure if i don't feel like it because i am tired i won't do it but yeah that's it for today i will see you guys when i see you guys bye i want to take off this way next day and I'm about to leave the house it's like 8 o'clock I need to be out of the house because I need 
to do my hair and my nails today to try and do both of that today so yeah must do it quickly because at one o'clock i'm working so i, I want to be back by then if i can yeah so let's get going i'll see you guys later you melt the ice behind my stone cold eyes i turn the ashes but only just sometimes and hear you small you guys i'm back my hair is done look at how long my hair has grown this is where it is now the last time i braided it was about here and now it's it's all the way to here to my neck it was just here the last time i braided i went back to the same place can you see it nicely i went back to the same place that i went to in cosmo the last time with my sister because the prices people are telling me for conros in north world and in four ways and in renberg 250 300 350 just for conros no wash so with a wash can even pay about 400 rand. I said, no child. This was 100 rand. If I wash, I pay 150. Uh, I didn't do a wash because I did a treatment yesterday here at home. And this is, uh, do you, can you, I hope you guys can see my nails. Let me make a bit darker. I think they are giving bride. I think they are appropriate for the occasion. They are giving bright and giving i'm about to get married <laughs> i got myself i got myself this robertson wine the chapel sweet white one and then my sister gave me this sobe charcoal sheet mask i'm gonna use it to do my facial i think it's better if i do my facial today so that if I, because sometimes when you do your facial, you do breakouts. If I do breakout, oh, my breakout is not black pimples, like a rash. But it's still a breakout. If I do breakout, at least I can have tomorrow and Friday to sort of like treat it. Because I also want to demo plan my mustache off. So that my makeup can sit nicely. Anyways, guys, I'm tired. I'm going to put this in the fridge. I'm stony. I am currently working. I'm currently working, uh, and I want to do laundry. I think I need to wash the dishes first. So I'll talk to you guys later. Morning, my angels. How are you all doing? I'm tired. It's currently past six. It's Friday today, the 22nd of March. It's the day before my lobola. So this is officially the last day of this vlog, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry. So now just this school. So yeah, it's the last day of this vlog. Uh, of the preps. I am up now. I'm packing up my things currently. And then I'm going to go to the lady who's gonna install my hair oh no i have to start by the veggie shop because yesterday was a public holiday my sister had a lot of errands to run concerning the lobola and by the time she made her way to the veggie shop it was closed because the public holiday they closed early so now i have to go buy the veggies because she already went home she went and fetched my other sisters at the airport and then they summer went home yesterday so she's not in the area and that veggie shop that's where we buy our veggies at carrera center so i'm gonna go there because it's not far from here and then i'm gonna buy those veggies then go for my appointment guys i shaved my mustache off can you see i did it last night hope i don't break out or get a rush or anything so yeah i'm gonna go 
I'm gonna finish up and then I'm gonna. It go. seems like a lot, but this is everything I'm taking. This is my clothes, my my cosmetics, my body care is quite intense, and my hair stuff for my wigs are in there. And then here is my filming equipment, and then it's snacks because we're gonna chill tonight. And then in that bag is all my makeup. So yeah, it's quite a lot. And then I'm taking this thing with me. Uh, it's a cart for my makeup. When I'm doing my makeup, when I display it here, it makes it easier and quickly. And quicker, sorry. So I'm going to take this thing. Yeah. And then here, I just made... I just made a little hamper for my boo. I made the hamper because last time when it was my sister's lobola, uh... Jason sat in the car for long. He sat for very long and it was hot. I don't think it'll be hot this Saturday because the weather has changed a lot here in Joburg. It was raining like crazy yesterday. I did my laundry and the last load that I put out, which is that load, I put it out and immediately after I put it out, it started raining and I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to take it in because it's pointless. Cause it was still wet so i'm gonna leave it out there my boo is coming back today he'll take it out when he comes back so anyways i made this hamper because jason sat out for long and it was very hot and i had to keep going to go give him like a snack water juice fruits so i thought to myself you know what let me make a hamper for my boo because not everyone is like me and I don't expect everyone to be like me. So I don't think they would have the foresight to do that. Or even be comfortable sneaking out to go give someone something. I didn't mind. So I was like, rather let me make sure it's taken care of. That it doesn't sit outside and is in the sun if they speak for long. Hopefully they don't. But you never know how these things go. Because with my sister, they spoke for hours. So yeah, I'm, I just made him this little hamper for to keep him company and hydrated while he's waiting outside. I'm about to leave now. I'm gonna cry. I've not been feeling any emotions ever since like when was it? This December, yeah, because when he came back from home for Christmas, he said. This is what's happening. Ever since December, I haven't been feeling any emotions. The last time I felt emotions was when he proposed. But uh, regarding the lobola itself, I haven't been feeling anything. Like, everyone's been asking me, how are you feeling? I'm like, I'm not feeling anything. But now that I'm leaving my house, and the next time I come back into this house, I'll be a completely different person. Like, I'll be someone's wife. I feel like fiancé, like the engagement was like yeah like yes preparation but it's only been five weeks of me wearing this ring so i feel like shortest engagement ever you can still say he's gonna be my fiance if you're taking it in western terms but if you're taking it in african terms then we're gonna be husband and wife right because paying lobola is basically getting married and i just said a little prayer now as i was about to walk out and I just got super emotional. Like I just got super emotional because I'm just like, I'm not going to come back the same. I'm going out as this person and I'm going to come back as a completely, completely different person. I, I can't believe it. Like at one point I was just a child. Then I became a scholar, a student. Then I chose a career path then i accumulated my own stuff bought myself a house bought myself a, a car you know just lent independence got out of my father's house you know i got out of my father's house which is the man that god has put here on earth to be like your god on earth and now I am out of his hand and now I'm going to be under another man's house, which is now going to be my husband, which is also another man that God has bestowed on this earth to be his representation.
to me, the head of the household. I'm just like, it's crazy how the seasons just keep unfolding, unfolding. Some point I was just a girlfriend. You know, some point I was dating and love was not working out. And then I met this guy. Now he's my man. Now we're getting married. At some point it was just a conversation where we were like, okay, what does our future look like? How many years of dating are we gonna do? We said two years. And honestly, probably when we were speaking, we didn't even believe what we were saying, not knowing that we were putting it out there in the universe, not knowing that we were praying to God that let this come to pass. And that's exactly what happened. It came to pass, he listened. He listened and he answered. The lyrics that come to me right now as I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered. I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust in God. My Savior, the one who will never fail he will never fail all right guys i don't want to cry on the on this here beyonce's internet but i am excited for this new journey i'm excited for this new season in my life i'm excited to start a life with my husband <laughs> just even saying the word husband feels weird but i'm excited I have so much joy and peace in my heart and obviously I'm also scared because if something you don't know it will always scare you nothing can ever prepare for certain pre prepare you for certain things in life you just need to go in head first and be hopeful that God has got your back he's holding your hand and if it's not of him it wouldn't happen he wouldn't lead you astray. So yeah, looking forward to doing this the God way with my husband. See you guys later. But you still act surprised. It's not my fault when we end up capsized. You call me crazy now, but you don't understand. I'm calling out to you. Can you hear a thing? Cause you lit the come and drink my african we got in the room. Hey guys, it's the night time. We are at home. We are playing games. It's all nice. I need to cover my hair. So it's fine for tomorrow. So we are just going to call it a night because honestly speaking, there's really not much i can show you we're chilling i got home um we chilled we went and bought some alcohol we bought some food had pizza and then and kfc and then we're chilling now playing games and yeah that's all honestly we're gonna sleep soon because there's gonna be low shading anyways we do have solar here but i think we should rather just sleep because it's low shading is a 10 so i think that's probably a good sign to say guys go to bed because if we switch on the solar, we won't sleep. But yeah, my sister put this sash on me and this thing, but this thing broke. This thing that says bright to be. And the sash also says, let's see if you can see. The sash also says bride to be. So yeah, we are just chilling with my siblings and my friends, my cousins. And we're having a nice time and we are ready for tomorrow. 
but that vlog will come up after this one so i think i'll close off this one now thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss the vlog for tomorrow love you guys so much bye